let it go. The things that have happened in the past, the things that aren't happening right now, let it go. If you want to be free, stop locking yourself into the prison of your past. If you want to see the light, stop holding yourself in the darkness of your past. If you really want to move on, release the heavy weight from your back. If you don't want them to win, let it go. Move on and create your best life. You would never allow a thief to enter your home and live there rent free. So why do you allow thoughts that steal your joy to enter and live inside your mind? Let it go. Had a moment of confrontation? Let it go. Don't allow it to live in your mind, stealing the joy from the rest of your day. Someone did you wrong? Let it go. They will ruin more of your life if you allow them to invade your mind like a virus, which will only affect the quality of your life in every other area. The best revenge is always moving on, letting go. Showing your ego is brave enough to let go. Showing you are strong enough to enjoy your life, to live your life fully, regardless of what happens or who isn't doing the right thing by you. Let them have their accidents somewhere else. Life hasn't gone as planned. It doesn't for anyone. Move on. Focus on the good. Those who live amazing lives haven't gotten lucky. When things don't work out, they move on quickly and focus on the next positive. They drop the negative like a hot potato and focus on what they can do today to get in a better state. They don't seek sympathy from family and friends. They focus on what is good in their life and let go of the negatives. Don't cheat on your future with your past. It's over. Commit to your future and it will be a strong, healthy one. If you don't let go of your past, your future will suffer. Understand this very important fact. You are the one who suffers most when you hold on to resentments, when you seek revenge. You are the one who wins when you do let go. Richard Carson once said, the key to a good life is this. If you're not going to talk about something during the last hour of your life, don't make it a top priority during your lifetime. Maybe we should all take that advice. Your ego will tell you, once everything is perfect, then I'll be happy. But your soul knows the truth. Be happy, then everything is perfect. No, life circumstances won't be perfect. But if you can get into the right space, you can then get to the understanding that everything happens for a reason and be at peace with that. So be happy. Do whatever it takes to find your happy. Not because everything is good, but because you see the good in everything. Not because every circumstance is a miracle, but because you see the miracle in life itself. Albert Einstein once said, there's only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is. I know which space I want to live in. What about you?